Hello everybody, welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today we're going to be showing off, actually, LR Bardock. So, um, as you see right here, that first rotation that I got is very, very good for him. Exactly the rotation I wanted to show off, just at least once, a double support rotation. I usually don't like doing these, but I just want to see how good LR Bardock could be at 55% nowadays. After this, uh, after this video specifically, I might take him into Super Battle World, probably on the Pure Saiyans team. I believe that's the only team you could be on Super Battle World for anyways. And we can see what he do, does there. So, uh, he has a lot of key for sure right here. Let's see, I actually want to keep him with this Goku rather than... The Bardock would be a better linking partner, um, but it's best not to have him at his best best. And the Bardock is probably not a unit you would usually run anyways. Let's look at his defense here. 75k defense uh he does have i believe this guy yeah this guy doesn't even give him defense because this guy right here gives only 30 percent attack uh the 30 percent defense is only to super saiyan 2 category allies and this guy only gives 30 percent attack and i just see my units are just clearly not fully you know weld out or anything so this is his base defense and another thing to point out super saiyan 4 goku's leader score right here is only one thirty percent defense as you see so this is like the lowest you can get and the pure saiyans team is gonna have a lot of defense and one more thing to top off with that and the pure saiyans team um how do i say it? like against multiple enemies this guy could also get uh an extra i believe 60 percent defense i have to look it up again but let's see 3.3 million not bad at all um again th this is double support right here he does have saiyan pride active saiyan pride is a big attack link for the spartak unit and he also seals on his 18 key super, so yeah, pretty incredible. So next turn, we're going to be able to see him um, just base defense without any, well, with multiple enemies, which is why I wanted to go into this meta cooler event in specific, because he does have that one enemy at the beginning, and then he also has the multiple enemies. I probably should have given the other Super Saiyan for Goku um, more key, but I feel like this one will take care of it more or less. Um, and my other one will just be able to finish off whatever is not taken care of at the end. This guy's rainbow right here, so yeah, he crit and just kill him. Alright. Um, that's just the power of these guys. Super Saiyan 4s are insane. Alright, so. Let's see his defense right here. Yeah, 100k defense. <laughs> that's pretty good on um, a 130% defensive lead team. Now, he, of course, if he gets super attacked, he's gonna die uh, because he'll have his defense lowered. So I'm actually gonna use this right here. And as you see right here, so the thing about this Bardock is that I believe he does he get additional key when he's he might actually get additional key when he's facing more enemies. I have to double check that. I'll go over him at the end, but okay. So he does get four key when he's facing multiple enemies. That makes up for the lack of the links that the other Bardock had given him. Let's do that. Uh, let's go for a nice big time shot against Int Meta Cooler. Not an 18 key. I'm not really trying to. I say, I'm not trying to optimize them too much. I want to, um, after I go to another event after this, um, I'm probably going to see him without any supports or anything to see how he rocks out by himself. Uh, he probably would have not taken much from this one. Yeah, if that guy only took 30k, he would have taken nothing. Now, this guy is gonna, is where it hurts for sure. Because even with the, that, uh, damage reduction, he's still gonna be at 50k. That's still a decent amount. Um, and my Goku is fairly tanky. So yeah, 2.4 million. That's a massive drop from the Super Saiyan 2 Bardock being on rotation. But again, Saiyan Pride is such a huge link for these Saiyans. And then along with that, um, I believe there's also like technically Saiyan Warrior Race. But that's like a 700 attack link. Plus there's the extra 30% from the... full part of Super Saiyan 4 Goku? Only 1.4. But like, no, that's, that's like no links active besides, like, again, Saiyan Warrior Race, I believe. So that's pretty good. Um, he's not taking the best though. At free dupe, uh, I don't really like him as much, but I have to use him a little more to see. Let's see. Uh, actually, I might be able to get him without any. If I miss super attacks right here, I might be able to show him without any. How do I say support on the rotation? No, because this Bardock is gonna float on there anyways. Um, yeah. So I guess I'll just make maybe next turn the last one um, because. Eh, well, I might actually be able to get it. I mean, just make this a very long sh on the. I make it a very long part on the meta cooler. Ooh, this bar is actually gonna get hit for a lot at the end right here. Yeah, even damage reduction for sure, because he, he he just has no defense at all. Um, 
which is why I feel like I like the 170% split better, but that's just me. Uh, let's move you here. I want you in the middle though, but no, I'll give you all these. Let's have you show off right there. I feel like I shouldn't finish them off this turn. Uh, I gave him no defense. Uh, I use no items by the way right here. So you're going to see how he tanks without anything. Um, he still should have over 100k defense. Um, because again, like you have to remember, he's not getting any defensive support as well. So if you had some defensive support right here with him, he would be very, very good. And this should do like around 30k maybe. No, 17k. A lot less than I expected. Uh, that's pretty nice. I mean, it's, it is only a Dokkan event, but you know, sometimes these guys in this Dokkan event right here hit pretty hard. For sure. And I feel like, yeah, you don't finish him off. I might just do heal next turn, um, possibly, so there's a lot of stalling, um, <laughs> but actually I want to see, I do want to see what this guy does, I think I'm just going to finish off the event here, let's target you, uh, actually that was a bad idea, yeah that was actually a very bad idea, oh well, I mean, I'm not like too affected by it, I'm like oh well, uh, this guy can get a crit because he's a friend 100%, no crit. I don't even think. Yeah, the crit definitely was not needed. The way. Um. Obviously, you're gonna attack him. Go to and attack this guy, and that should be it. All right. No items again. Uh, full power super saiyan four might take actually a lot of damage here. I'm healing a lot. They're healing a lot. I mean, yeah. Actually, I technically could die here. But look at that saiyan whirling active. And I was only at half HP. That free dupe. That's pretty nice. No support as well. Five, five crate, of course. All right, I should be finished about this turn, and the next turn will probably be the last one in this medical event. Again, I'm gonna try and show him without support in one more place. Um, uh, on this team though, right here, with uh, I can't even speak right there. On the Goku's family team, it is definitely like very easy to have supports floating around a lot of the time. So I wouldn't say it's too invalid. It's just a Bardock mostly. This Bardock, you wouldn't run him at all, especially like in an event like this. Let's see. So we're back to just one enemy. I'm actually gonna use the active skill here. Not gonna lie, active skill be broken. <laughs> um, mine won't do as much damage as the other one does because mine was my Super Saiyan 4 Goku is only at 55%, but still gonna do a nice amount of damage. Yep, three bars of health basically. This guy is very very good. Uh, will those orbs drop correctly? No, it's fine though. Uh, I'm still getting an 18 key super. Uh, I don't need to heal here. And if I die at the end, then I don't care. <laughs> It'd be like that. Um, yeah. Okay, I got a counter. So, yeah. Let's see. 40k? Jesus Christ, Goku. What the hell happened? He doesn't even lower defense. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm actually a little confused. Because he doesn't lower his defense, so. Okay. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. I mean... He raises defense by 200% anyway, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> That's like so much defense. Okay, this guy should be, yeah, 2.171. I didn't show his defense this turn, but it's not needed. It would have still been around the 78k or so it was at the beginning. All right, now that we're finished with this, uh, let's move on to another event. All right, and we are back here. So we're going against the Transforming Freeze event, and as we know it, Bardock is on the first rotation right here. So, um, I got like around 3 key from the field for the Bardock. Uh, if you see right here, yeah, well, no, actually 2 key from the field. Um, I'm gonna keep them with this Super Saiyan 2 Goku here, actually. I think they're pretty, they work pretty well together. Um, because this Goku creates a lot of orbs, and yeah, as you see right there, the Goku's gonna be very, very good. And along with that, they have Prepare for Battle and, uh, Shadow in the Limit. So, 2 million right there from the Bardock. Um, pretty nice. The Spartak does, I believe, I think all he does on his super attack is seal. But, um, again, that's very, very useful. And this Goku right here, uh, got an easy area recently. And he's only at free dupe, he's putting up 1.8. So, uh, of course, he's very, very impressive. I do feel like that rotation is kind of like a strong rotation. Like, if you want to run it. It's not, it's definitely not one of the best rotations. But, you know, it's, it's pretty nice, you know, a thing that you could just do. Put together um bardock is definitely good around all these shattering the limit units which there are a lot of shattering the limit units on the goku's family team such as that goten and that goku who all create orbs which are all very helpful for the team 
even that like uh, EGL pad, she may not support Bardock, but she does like create orbs and she does have, you know, Shadow of the Limit, which along with that, you know, she supports the Gokus, um, like the Super Saiyan 4 Gokus, which make them even more insane than they already are. Hmm. Other than that, I mean, like, this Bardock is definitely like, people don't talk about him at all. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Uh, it's just that like he's good, but I feel like showing him off just like this and like Dokkan events, he won't really shine at all, especially if don't use supports or anything. Because some people just want to see the unit how he is, you know, just not like over fluffed and over dramatically, you know, centervised. I don't know what's, what the fuck does centervised mean. Like over like overdone basically. That's why I don't really like using V Pan in showcases. 2.1 million is pretty good. I don't really like using B-Pan in showcases because it's nice to see a high flashy attack stat. But people want to see the unit just like normal. I feel like, um, at least I do and the people I talk to, you know, it's like it's cool to see those attack stats like super high. Like, wow, that's so cool. You can get that high, but like, it's just not realist realistic. And I don't know, I just like to show them off like how they are. Like, look how it right there, 1.9 million. He doesn't even have first battle active. That's insane. Um... I feel like this Bardock 100% excels just in the, uh, what you bet, Super Battle Road, or Battlefield even, but I feel like Super Battle Road is 100% his best event, because no, not only does he seal, but he'll get the extra key from having multiple enemies and the extra defense. Like, he'll lose on the extra, I believe, 30% attack or so, but it's not that huge of a deal, honestly, um, provided that he, it's not like he's the super, super hardest hitter, especially at 55% anyways. But that defense, um, on this team right here, um, having only 130% 130% defense and yeah, getting like the high but defensive stat is incredible. Like, look at that, 73k defense. Um, of course, like, the main drawback with this rotation is that you want to give the orbs to the Goku anyways. So, this is like a good rotation for just Bardock, but not for the Goku, because the Goku will definitely suffer. So yeah, 2.1 million is around, he's gonna rock. Um, I could've ran that Int GT Goku, um, the Spur Bum one that we got from their Mega Shinran raid. He actually does have Saiyan Pride, but I decided not to, because... Well, actually, they're not bad linking together. I think they're both very orb hungry. At least with this Goku, he's not like super, super orb hungry, because he does raise his de attack and defense by uh, 50% on his super attack, uh, which is pretty good uh clearly but the problem with that is that he still wants the extra orbs but if you give him two orbs that's 40 percent defense from his passive unless he's facing a vegeta family ally category uh enemy i believe and then along with that he'll get the 50 percent extra defense as well so that's what 90 percent defense which is not bad um it's definitely pretty good at least for dokkan event stages so i'm actually gonna do this right here Eh, I don't really need to use active skill. I just want to put the Goku in the front. So not only can I get that physical orb, but I could um protect him from getting stunned from that freezer, which he definitely will do that. Unless Goku counters him. Well that's actually a decent amount of damage. Uh because Goku hasn't raised his defense yet. Goku does build up his defense a little slow, but um after a few turns he'll get used to it. And as long as you have him in the second or third slot, I'd say excuse me, he's just superb defensively. It's like insane how much that massively raised defense actually gives you. Oh, 2.22 million. Um, what's the difference here? Uh, they might have just an extra link I'm not thinking about. But Bardock is just very incredible. I do love the unit. Like, I've always wanted this other Bardock, honestly. Um, and it's, I've never really been, like, too, too high over him. But I've always, like, definitely wanted him. So, yeah, I mean... Here is LR Bardock at 55%. Uh, very, very good. Uh, clearly, he's just an amazing unit. I mean, not much else to say about it. So, I'm pretty sure I know what he does for the most part. So, I'm just going to translate it off for you. Probably put the things on the screen. So, this is just Bardock. His name is just Normal Bardock. I, I don't know what his like title header name is. It's somewhere. It'll probably be there, maybe. So... Uh, free dupe has 15.7k HP, 18.2k attack, and 12.4k defense, which is pretty good. Not bad stats at all. His uh, 
sorry, his leader skill is super, uh, super physical types, K plus 4, and HP attack and defense plus 100%, 100%. Or extreme physical type, K plus 2, HP attack and defense 70%. So, that's a nice leader skill, especially since, like, physical is... Physical doesn't really have... I, I think physical really needs a buff. I hope one of the 5th year anniversary units are physical. The other one, um... Probably... SDR. Physical and SDR I can see for the 5th year anniversary. But I'm not too confident in that. I don't know. It could also... like I, it's, I feel like tech, int, and... I feel like compared to all the other typings, physical is just a lot like it's behind i don't know why just looking at it like they're good characters there but i just feel like it's behind um i feel like the last physical dokkan fest we got it's, it's probably something i'm someone i'm not thinking of but it's like the last one at the top of my head is like transforming vegeta i don't know um might be wrong but that's just like <laughs> if it was a more memorable physical unit out there i probably would have would think about them from the get-go like that's why physical just needs a buff i mean there is a lr androids but like that's an lr not a dokkan fest so yeah um his super attack 12 key uh raises attack uh i'm not sure if it's a great raise it might be a great raise i definitely don't think it's massively it should be a great raise um or it could just be a normal attack raise but player shoots greatly raise and then cause um I forgot the words, man. This is why I should be looking at the translations, but oh well. He causes colossal damage, and then his 18 key causes mega colossal damage, and he still super attack. So, of course, and of course, with every other LR, once he gets to super attack uh, 20, he gets his extra 30% or so. So, his passive scope attack and defense plus 70% at the start of turn, which is not bad for an LR. Um, people look at that and they'll think, oh, that sucks. But honestly, like, LR stats are so high, like, 70% by itself does so much for you. And look at LR Vegito Blue, he only gets 80%, and just look what he does. He does stack attack and defense, but at the beginning of the fights, he's incredible. And that's what the Spartak is at also, I believe. Uh, along with that, um, we're just facing one enemy. No, we need to be forming. Oh, I see, I see. When he performs a super attack, he gets attack 30% up. Uh, I believe that might be for just his 12 key. I'm not too sure. Uh, it'll be up there though. And along with that, when he's facing one enemy, he gets key plus four. When he's facing two or more enemies, he gets defense plus 60%. Which, and that extra 60% of defense is, is very, very good. 100% the extra 60 sip. I can't talk. The extra 60 sip. The extra 60% defense is incredible for Super Battle Road, which I'll be showing him off at a separate video for sure. Along with that, um, other than that, just his links. So yeah, Saiyan Warrior Race. He has, I believe it's Saiyan Lineage. Uh, he has the Team Bardock link. He has Saiyan Pride. Uh, prepared for battle, of course. He has Shattering the Limit and Legendary Power. His categories are Low Class Warrior, Pure Saiyan, and Goku's Family, which is the team I showed him off today. That was weird translations, but I'm 100% sure that's what Bardock does. Uh, just from lock not looking at anything, from looking at the kanji and stuff, you know, being a weeb and <laughs> self-translating. Other than that, um, let me know if you guys enjoy Bardock. Let me know if you don't. What do you think about him? I feel like he's still a very nice unit. He, like... People always had low expectations expectations for him, so I don't think he's aged at all. I think he's stayed like the same place that he's always been. Honestly, you could think of him as a kind of like a timeless unit in a sense because he's always just been LR Bardock, you know? It's, people never really brought him up too much. Um, even like, especially like right after the next LR released, I don't even know who it was, but like for sure people never really talked about LR Bardock and they still don't talk to him about him like... He was always just there, which is why I feel like he's just a secret. He just, people sleep on him a little bit, especially in Super Battle Road. He's a monster, and I'll be showing that next video. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you all next time.